are going to talk about CSS grouping. Now, grouping in CSS is a technique used to help uh, reduce uh, code redundancy. So many times in your, uh, in your code or your CSS, you're going to have uh, different selectors that are going to have the same declarations on them. So for an example, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this header 2 here. And I'm going to take this header 1. And just for uh, example purposes, go ahead and copy that and then paste it two times. All right. All right, so we've got that. And then let's just pretend this is a class of some sort and then pretend this is like an ID of some sort. So we might have this header one tag in our page and then a class and an ID somewhere in it. And they have the same exact uh, style declarations on them, right? So what we can do is you can actually take these and group them all together into one declaration. And here's how. In your uh, header one here, go ahead and put a comma. And for this, I'm going to put a header two, comma, and a header three. All right, and go ahead and just delete this uh, class and ID example that we had down here. All right, so we've got a group here of a header one, header two, and a header three. And we're assigning a color of white. We've got a text shadow on this. And what we're saying is every header one and every header two and every header three um, apply this style rule to it. Okay, so uh, go ahead and save that and then come over to your HTML. We're going to add a header three here. And go ahead and write whatever you want. I'm going to write, I wish. Red Bull gave me wings. I do, I wish. All right, so we've got a header three in here, and then I'm gonna, I just kinda wanna define these. So put header one there, and put a header two here. Give a space, and then go ahead and put a header three. Awesome. And then, uh, so we could get some more headers here. Um, let's see where our container closes. It closes here, um, right at the bottom. Uh, outside of this, go ahead and add a header one, and then we're going to do a header one example. I should build a tree swing, and then we can do another one here with a header two, and go ahead and add that header two there, and put, let's see, I hope the rope doesn't break. All right, cool. I hope it doesn't break. Now, so we've got a few different uh, headers on here. Let's go ahead and save that and then uh, launch it and let's preview this. All right, so cool. So we've got all of our header ones. So we group the header ones, twos, and threes together. We can see it's applying our white font and our text shadow uh, in there. Pretty cool stuff. Now, uh, let's do something else. We can, uh, we can actually add... Um, more style rules to this, we can go ahead and add a, uh, a line height of let's just put uh, one rem uh, unit there. And then we can even go ahead and add a font family of like sans serif here. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're taking a group, we're, we're setting a standard uh, for these elements here. We're saying, hey, every single header one, two, and three we are going to apply these style rules to it. And then down the road, if we want to change a color or a font family on some of these headers, you can go ahead and add classes to those and get a little bit more specific uh, with your style rule so you can target the specific, specific header one uh, tags, for an example, that you want to change. Um, and in this, not only can we, you know, grab just element selectors, if you wanted to group like a class in here, you could go ahead and throw a class in here if it has the uh, same style rules. And you can even go ahead and add an ID. Just make sure that every single one of these is separated by a comma. And you can literally add infinite uh, elements, classes, and IDs inside of this and then apply a standard for a style rule here. So very cool stuff. So style rules are, um, I mean, uh, CSS grouping is very helpful. Uh, it's going to do a couple of things. It's going to help the 
a redundancy of your code. It's going to save you time from repeating the same style rules to uh, different elements. It's also going to help the browser load your page a lot quicker by grouping this. It's not going to have to read so many classes or different style rules uh, that you've assigned to these. So cool stuff. Uh, very, very helpful. That is CSS grouping. Let's move on. We'll be right back.